I'm gonna talk a little loud and yell because I've got an 85 millimeter zoom lens on while I hold what is going to be the vlogger's lens of choice. Ah, uh, much better sounding closer to the mic. And you can be close to this lens too with a working distance of only seven and a half inches. And it's using a nine blade dot from producing pleasant background bouquet encodings to help reduce lens flare. Unfortunately, there is no image stabilization, but it's fine on alpha cameras with IBIS. Autofocus seems slightly better in video mode using my totally unscientific tests. And the focus ring and focal ring are switched for most lenses, but that's easy to get used to. And I know vlogging's getting to be kind of like a dirty word, but I'll let you know. I will talk straight into my lens. Nothing to be done about it. I'm, I'll keep doing it. Not sponsored. This video is all about the vlogging side of using the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter, but it is also great for landscapes and for architectural photos. Obviously, getting those wide shots of people or combining both some landscape and people. Lens is perfect for that as well. Oh, and slow is never the way it goes. I want you to freeze. Stay right here with me. The windows are open, driving the coast, but time won't stay in. Try as hard as I could to come up with some kind of Apple analogy for that transition, but the best I could do is the Tamron 17 to 28 is gonna be the apple of every Sony vlogger's eye. Might be looking for riders, and I'm not really that hungry. A little bit thirsty, but in all seriousness, this lens is absolutely the lens to get if you're just not getting into the Sony system. Even on a crop APS-C sensor, you'll get about a 24 to 42 millimeter equivalent. I'm off on those numbers because I always mess up crop factor. With a wide angle lens, you got a little bit of vignetting on the edges, which I care absolutely nothing about because it can kind of look stylish and it's the simplest thing in the world to fit in Lightroom, so no problems there. Some of the internet will tell you this lens is sharper at f4 than f2.8, which is kind of Always been the case with zoom lenses, but really you got a pixel peep to see it. I rock my lenses without any kind of filters on them and generally wide open at 2.8 or 1.8, 1.5, whatever it is, because that's why you got those lenses that are that fast to shoot at those wide open apertures, despite what any pixel peepers will tell you. Shoot your 2.8 to your heart's content. <laughs> Shop.jagershots.com for photography and videography themed apparel, new shirts, and new styles are on the way. So if you don't see anything you like now, something you like is coming. If you did like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button because it still counts as an engagement. And subscribe to never miss a shot from Jagershots.com. This is so close, but so far away from 2018 when Sony could have just put the flippy out on the camera.